Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome back to GamerTube. And welcome back to our What Needs to Be in Little Nightmares character concepts. So in today's video, I'll be going into Wax Bellman. Now, he originally was meant to be in Little Nightmares 1, and he technically still is in the game. But I thought it'd be cool if I share some ideas on what I'd like to see in like a level and a boss interaction with him as well. Also, I should mention that Tarsi Studios isn't really going forward with anything Little Nightmares, but Bandai Namco has expressed interest with going forward. Also, before we start today's video, guys, if you could please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. Alrighty, let's get into some ideas about Wax Bellman. So Wax Bellman was meant to be a character from the first game. And like I said, he technically still is in the first Little Nightmares. So supposedly, the Hanging Man in the first game is meant to be Wax Bellman. And from what we can see from these concept artworks, that does seem to be the case considering there's a noose around his neck. He also makes an appearance as an easter egg in the app game Very Little Nightmares. Now Wax Bellman's occupation on the moor was that of a bellhop. He would be helping out passengers with their bags and packages. He also had a role of a watchguard of some sorts. Supposedly, Wax Bellman would watch people on the moor through a two-way mirror. And also, he observed people through the big eye surveillance window. So what I'd like to see from Wax Bellman is where he was working before the mall. I'd imagine he was once a bellhop for a creepy looking hotel. This hotel could be located just off the offskirts of the Pale City. And it could also house those similar hungry guests just like we saw on the mall. As for the character you play as, it would probably have to be a new introduced character. In these concept videos, the character you play as isn't as important. It's more about the setting and the boss character. So as for Wax Bellman's appearance, he's a tall being with a red bellhopper suit, and a face that appears to be made of melted wax. He's a pretty disturbing character to look at, and it's also pretty interesting to figure out what exactly is Wax Bellman. Was he once a wax dummy that melted and went terribly wrong and disfigured? Or is the melted wax face more of a mask just like the chefs on the mall? So let's start off with the location of the creepy hotel. So there could be a big concierge desk, with also a rusty old looking bell on that desk as well. There could be long winding corridors that give off a very eerie vibe. We could also do a lot of puzzles, with using luggage as platforms to get up to places, or trying to find the correct keys out of a whole bunch of room keys. The interactions with Wax Bellman would be pretty much the same as the other sneaking segments in the past games. One thing that would be pretty interesting is if they implemented a hiding mechanic for Wax Bellman. Considering in the original game that he would typically hide behind two-way mirrors, there could be a mechanic where you lose Wax Bellman and all of a sudden he would smash for a secret viewing room mirror and grab you or chase you. Also, something that would be pretty cool to see would be a sneaking mechanic where if Wax Bellman is in a room you need to be in, the player could throw an item at that concierge bell. Every time you ring that concierge bell, he would have to go check it out for new arriving guests, as it is his duty to always answer that bell. This could be really helpful to get you out of sticky situations, and also have him exit rooms that you need to be in. Wax's long arms and legs could also be pretty helpful in his attempts to catch the player. He could easily use his long arms to reach over bookshelves and grab you, or with his long legs, he could be a faster character than we've seen before in the past games. When it comes to confronting Wax Bellman, one clear weakness of his would have to be fire. Considering that Mr. Bellman is entirely made of wax, there's a chance that he could melt. This brings us to the Wax Room. This would be a room filled with candles, and probably the place where Mr. Bellman would use these candles to add more layers of wax to his body, or also repair himself if he ever got damaged. Wax Bellman could also have a little golden lighter that he uses to light the candles and melt the wax. There could be an instance where Wax Bellman does drop that lighter and the player gets a hold of it. With this lighter, the player could have numerous ways of defeating Wax Bellman. One way you could defeat him is in a gameplay segment where Wax Bellman is sitting in his chair surrounded by the candles. The player could sneak around and light all the individual candles in the room and that would raise the temperature and cause Wax to melt. Seeing that Wax Bellman's body is entirely made of wax, this would also cause him to melt. Another way that you could melt him that would be pretty interesting is setting fire to his coattails. On the back of his red coat could be two long large coattails that drag on the ground. There could be an instance where you would need to light each tail and set him ablaze and melt him entirely. 
Once the player has successfully melted him, they could be on their way out as they exit the hotel. But then they soon realise that the lump of melted wax on the floor has come alive and starts crawling towards them. This lump of wax could have also consumed all the other candles in the room and become one homogenous mass of wax. It would creepily and quickly crawl towards the player and try to consume them. Whilst trying to frantically escape this large dangerous lump of wax, the player could lure the melted wax into the kitchen area where you'd have to find a way to get him into the cold storage room. Once you've lured him into the cold storage room, he would once again turn rigid and be stuck as a large solid mass of wax. As the camera pans out on this large solid clump of wax on the ground, you then hear the concierge bell ring in the distance. Alrighty guys, that's all we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Also, in the comment section down below, let me know what you want to see from a Wax Bellman interaction, or what any other characters you'd like to see, or any ideas for characters you have. Anyway guys, until the next video, I'll catch you later. Bye.